Hi students, welcome to this class. This class is all about an decision tree algorithm that is C4.5. In the C4.5, the C stands for chi-square and 4.5 is uh, just a version. It is actually a chi-square automatic interaction detection that is also called as CHAID, the technique one. Generally, chi-square is a metric to find the significance of a feature. In the given data set, we will find so many attributes or features. We need to find out the, the significance of each and every feature. Based on the highest value of the feature, it is possible for us to find the root node. And the remaining the values, based on the values, it is possible we can find the remaining tree. In preparation of a decision tree, this is the one of the most prominent algorithm people use it. At the same time, it is possible for us to use the formula also. The chi-square formula is square root of y minus the mean of y whole square divided by the, the mean of the y. Here now y is the actual value and the mean of the y is expected value. This is a table. Most of the times we are using for many number of classes. This is the data set allows us to know, shall we go for the game to play the game outside or not? There are four attributes we can see here. That is called outlook, temperature, humidity, and wind. Based on the values of these four attributes, it is possible to take the decision. In the case of here, the sunny outlook, hot temperature, high humidity and weak wind, the decision is no, don't go out. In the case of the third day, overcast outlook, hot temperature, high humidity, weak wind, yes, you can go outside. So there are 14 instances and the combination of no, yes, like this we have. The various values you can find out. Now we are supposed to prepare decision tree for this entire table is. The algorithm we are going to use is C4.5 algorithm. Let's have a look into this algorithm is. To implement this algorithm, what is required for us is called, we are taking the outlook feature. We are taking the, this particular attribute. When you see the values, sunny, overcast, rain, like this, there are over three classes available. The three classes are sunny, rain, and overcast. And based on these three classes, so this is happening, yes, as well as no happening here. Now, here now, we'll prepare a table for this. When the here now outlook is sunny, the number of times yes is coming two, the number of no is coming three. When the outlook feature is overcast, the number of times yes is four, the no is zero. When it is rain, three times yes and two times no. And totally you can see that two plus three is equal five, four and five. And average of this one is, you can take it as here now, average of the total five by two, four by two and five by two, this is called expected value are 2.5, 2, and 2.5. Now, using these values, we'll apply, we'll find the chi-square value. The formula for chi-square already told you, square root of y minus the mean of y whole square divided by the mean of the y. So in this one, the first y value is equal to, this one will take, yes. Okay, so now two, we can take this one is two. So mean of the two, so two minus five, right? That's not, so two minus five whole square, right or not? So divided by the mean of the y value, that is nothing but the mean of the y value is called here 2.5 value. So when you have done this one is square root of done, if you are done, already have done the work for this one, the values come 0 0.316. Now y value is equal to three, you'll take, now do the computation, it's coming at 0 0.316. For work as strain as if you are done, the values are like this. Now we'll do summation of all the values here now. Chi-square value of the outlook is sum of chi-square, yes and no column is. When you have done this one, the value is coming as 4.092 is coming. Now, what is the use of this value is? We'll keep it like this aside. Now we'll do the, the temperature feature also like this. So what is the temperature has three classes, hot, mild, and cool. Now, how many times we have called yes, how many times we have no, and total expected value like this to find, find for everyone, and chi-square yes, chi-square no, and summation is coming as 2.569 is coming as a summation. Now go for the other one, humidity feature. It has two classes, it's called high and normal, 
and summarize all these things, get the chi square S yes, and chi square no, the total is coming at 3.207. Now, do it for the wind feature also. When you have done the wind feature, the values of chi square S yes, and chi square no are like this coming. The total is 1.604. Now, we'll prepare a table for all the four attributes that are outlook, temperature, humidity, and wind. The values are chi square values are like this. From this one, the highest one is coming as outlook is 4.092. Now, this is the root node for us. This is the root node. So, when here now, when we have root node, now look at this color. What are the, do you have called sunny? The value is called sunny. What are the instances we have? If the outlook is rain, what are the instances we have? If the outlook is overcast, what are the instances we have? We just make a, a tree for it. When you have done the tree of this one is coming, look at the interesting one. The outlook is equal to overcast. All decisions are yes. All decisions are yes. So we know to decompose this particular, what you have is called the node. It's not required. When you see sunny, sometimes no, sometimes yes coming. And rain also sometimes yes, sometimes no is coming. So which one is, when sunny is equal here now call, when sunny value is becoming, outlook is equal to sunny. So uh, what are the values of other attributes? That is allowing to take decision is called yes, and allowing us to take decision is called no. Similar way, when the outlook is called rain, what are the values of other attributes that is forcing us to take decision yes and forcing decision to take it as no also we need to find out. To do the work, outlook equals sunny branch. Outlook is sunny branch. What are the values? Just take it out. A combination of no and yes. So temperature, humidity, wind. Now favor the same way the table prepare it. Yes, no values. Total find it out. Expected also find it out. This mathematical total by two. And chi square is chi square no. Now coming as the summation of all the values at 3.414. Like this also do it for the humidity feature for sunny outlook. Now do it when you have done this one, chi square s, chi square no, you can find it out. And total is coming as 4.449. And also do it for the, the other one, wind feature. When you have done the wind feature, the total is becoming as, I think what I call this one is 0 0.816. And total, if you've done this one, the table, that is allowing you to find it out. Temperature is equal to 3.414, humidity is equal to 4.419, wind is equal to 0.816. So that is allowing to do the work like this. When humidity is higher, right or not? Humidity is higher, right? So it's coming like this way. Left side, you can see that is called. So no is coming this side, normal is coming this side. Okay, now humidity is the most dominant feature for sunny. Humidity is the most dominant feature. 4.449 is the dominant feature. So when the humidity is higher, so you come into left side table and normal is coming right side table. Rain still is like this only. The second phase of shade is now the both humidity branches for sunny outlook have just one decision listed above. So chain three will look written no for sunny outlook and high humidity and written yes for sunny outlook and normal, normal one. So now in this one normal decision is. So in this one now here now, when it is no, there's no question of going out. You can simply say that. When it's yes, go, you can go out. Now, do it the similar fashion for the rain also. Once you've done the rain, this is the final picture for us. Okay, so sunny, humidity high, no. Sunny here now called humidity is now normal, yes. So outlook is overcast, yes. And rain here now, when it comes to rain from this side, wind is weak, yes, and strong is no. This is the final decision tree for the given data set using the C4.5 algorithm. Thank you very much.